Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at polypeptide synthesis. We're going to talk about genes as the instructions for polypeptides. We're then going to talk a bit about polypeptides and what they are, the problem with having the instructions on the gene, and the solution to this problem being transcription and translation. So firstly, what's a gene? It's a segment of DNA that is on a chromosome at a particular locus or distance uh, from where the chromosome joins up to its homologous chromosome. And each gene codes for one polypeptide. So there's the one gene, one polypeptide theory. So the next question, what's a polypeptide? It's a long chain of amino acids. So we've talked about amino acids being the building blocks of proteins. Uh, those one of the uh, bigger building blocks are the polypeptides. So there's 20 amino acids, and they have different side groups or side chains. And the way that these side groups interact with each other causes them to fold and determines their three-dimensional structure. So, but with those 20 amino acids, you can get lots and lots of different shapes of these polypeptides. As I said, they're the building blocks of proteins. Some proteins are just one polypeptide, whilst most others are made by a couple of polypeptides. Uh, one example of a protein is hemoglobin that we've looked at, and it is made of four polypeptides. And you can see those four polypeptides here, where two are in blue and two are in red. Now the problem uh, with this method of synthesis is that the instructions are on the DNA, which is found inside the nucleus, but the thing that actually makes this polypeptide, the ribosomes, are found either out in the cytoplasm or in the rough endoplasmic reticulum. So this means that the message needs to be taken from the DNA out to the ribosomes where that polypeptide is created. And the way we get around this is through transcription and translation. So firstly, transcription is the process of coding the amino acid sequence, so the amino acids that need to be made, from the DNA onto a strand of what is called messenger ribose nucleic acid, or mRNA. And this mRNA is very small, and it moves out of the nucleus through a very small nuclear pore, which is a hole in the nuclear membrane, out into the cytoplasm or rough endoplasmic reticulum. Once it gets there, translation occurs. Uh, so that mRNA goes to the ribosome. Inside the ribosome, the mRNA matches up with another piece of RNA called transfer ribose nucleic acid. And that tRNA has at one end of it the corresponding uh, basis, while at the other end it has an amino acid. So that amino acid uh, comes in and joins onto the amino acid next to it, and eventually this forms a polypeptide chain. In this video, we've looked at genes, which are the sequence of DNA that codes for a polypeptide, one gene, one polypeptide. A polypeptides being the building blocks of protein made from a chain of amino acids with a particular three-dimensional structure depending on those amino acids, uh, the problem being that the genes are on the DNA inside the nucleus and the uh, polypeptides are made outside the nucleus at the ribosomes, and the way that we overcome this by coding that message from the DNA onto the mRNA, that mRNA then going out of the nuclear pore to the ribosomes where it matches up with tRNA that has the amino acid on it, causing those amino acids to bond together, forming a polypeptide chain. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.